Hey everybody, it's Tessa here, and today I'm going to be teaching you one of my favorite songs called Break Your Heart by, I don't want to butcher the name, T-A-I-O Cruz. Tayo Cruz, maybe? Something like that. And it's featuring Ludacris. I love this song, it's so, so catchy, and um, there are a lot of hard ways to play it on YouTube. I found a lot of bar chord methods, but this is a really easy method. Um, you can make it sound harder than it is if you use um, palm muting and stopping and stuff like that. But if not, you can just use a regular strum pattern. I'll teach you both ways. Like my nails, they're purple. Actually, a coach nail polish, and it's actually a really nice color. I'm surprised. But anyway. Uh, don't forget, hope you like this video, and don't forget to comment, like, view my channel, my other videos, favorite, most importantly, subscribe, probably up there, because everyone's YouTube probably changed by now, if not, it may still be in the sidebar, or below, or wherever it is, just subscribe, and remember, it blends into the background now, so you won't be able to see it as easily as you were before, but anyway, uh, I'll play the song first for you, and then teach you how to play it. Before I start, I would just like to give a quick shout out to two wonderful girls here on YouTube. Um, They're just starting out and it would mean a lot to me and of course to them if you went to check out their channel. Um, they are XX, Kaylee Singer XX and Led, Led Lexi 10, um, Lexi and Kaylee. Um, they are awesome and you should definitely just go check out their channel. It would mean a lot to them. It would mean a lot to me, and it would just be awesome. So, Lexi Ten and XX Kaylee Singer XX. They are both singers here on YouTube and just starting out and need some awareness of their channel. So I just wanted to help them out. Now I'll start my video. <laughs> both ways you can play it. The first two, um, I played the regular way, and the second time I played it the, uh, more funkier version. But the basics is capo, first fret, and the chords you're going to need are the same as replay, kind of similar to replay, there's one change by IYZ, I had this row too. Um, E minor. <laughs> Pointer finger, 5th string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 4th string, 2nd fret. G. Pointer finger, 5th string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 6th string, 3rd fret, and ring finger, 1st string, 3rd fret. D. Pointer finger, 3rd string, 2nd fret, middle finger, 1st string, 2nd fret, and ring finger, 2nd string, 3rd fret. And then you use your A. Pointer finger, fourth string, second fret, middle finger, third string, second fret, and ring finger, second string, second fret. So it's the same chord throughout the entire song. So it's E minor, G, D, and A. Strum pattern for the song is down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, for each chord. So, if you want to just do a basic, the whole song is just down, down, up, up, down, up. entire song so it would be um now listen to me baby before I love and leave you they call me heartbreaker I don't wanna deceive you and if you fall for me I'm not easy to please I might tear Break your heart. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. 
sheets again. Um, but if you want to do it with a little more style, I guess you could call it, um, you can do palm muting. So palm muting is when, as you strum, you let your palm hit the strings and mute them. So it would be like, this would be a regular E minor. So, and palm muting would be. I'm letting my palm hit these strings as I come down. Sometimes, and sometimes I don't, so I get a little bit of sound and a little bit of muted sound. A little bit of this, and a little bit of chord. Um, also, you can do it with, if you're going to palm mute it, you can change the strum pattern a tiny bit. Instead of down, down, up, up, down, up, for each chord, it can be down, down, up, stop, up, down, up. Down, down, up, stop up, down, up. So it would be like, like this. Down, down, up, stop, up, down, up, down, down, up, stop, up, down, up. So it would be... But you can do it either way. They both sound good. Um, but that's it, really. So the chords, once again, are E minor. G, D, and A, and capable on your first fret, and the strum pattern generally is down, down, up, up, down, up. So that's it. Now I'm going to play it with the song. Um, don't forget to comment, like, like down there. Um, be my channel for my other videos, favorite, most importantly, subscribe up there or wherever the subscribe button is now probably up there um yeah so now i'm gonna play the song i hope you like this tutorial thanks so much for watching Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.